Eric Paschal is a big part of the Warriors present, and he's here with us now on SportsCenter. Man, it's been quite a week. Yeah. How, how have things changed for you in the last week? It's been wild, honestly. <laughs> uh, just all the, all the fans have been great. Dub Nation has been great to me. Uh, on my birthday, I had a pretty big game. So, yeah, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, it's been great. I mean, just all the support that I've had over the past few weeks through social media, through my friends, through family. I know my family's very proud. Yeah. So, uh, it's been great. You mentioned that game, the 34-point game on your birthday at the Chase Center against a playoff contender. Yeah. Uh, the top scoring game by any rookie this season with 34 points. Was the plan for you to go in with all the injuries and take over, or did it just kind of – Evolved that way. I think it just went with the flow. I mean, I, I hit my first three yeah. and then it felt good. So I shot another one <laughs> and I, then I shot another one after that. And then uh, my teammates and coaches just kept giving me the confidence to just keep going and keep being aggressive. So I feel like that's how that that night turned out. And we came out with a big win. Your uh, college coach, Jay Wright at Villanova, said that uh, he wasn't surprised because anytime he needed you to step up, you always stepped up, especially that Kansas game in the semifinals 2018. Yeah. You had 24 points there. He said he needed you to step up, and you did it. How much does that help you uh, with your confidence in the NBA? Um, I feel like my time at Villanova was great for me just to be in all different types of roles. I mean, I redshirted, so I didn't play one year. Yep. Then the next year I came off the bench, energy guy. Next year I was more of a leader but uh, still was a very big energy guy in my senior year. I had to lead and still bring energy and still do all the dirty work. Mm -hmm. So I feel like being at Villanova helped me out a lot just in terms of just maturity and uh, learning how to take different roles. Uh, Draymond Green says that's one of the things that he really respects about you, um, the, that experience from Villanova. And it, he's, been, he's been very upfront in, in praising you. Uh, you guys have a similar story in some respects, mm -hmm. second round picks and undersized power forwards known for defense, but then can play with some versatility. What has your relationship with him been like so far? Uh, it's been great. I mean, he's just a great dude off the court. I mean, always, always having fun, always trying to bring energy on and off the court and learning from him every day has helped me a lot just because he sees the game in so many different ways and he's so smart. So I just try to pick his brain however way I can and just keep trying to learn. We saw the jersey exchange with Donovan Mitchell after the Jazz game. Uh, a couple of Westchester kids who made it to the NBA. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that relationship. That that <laughs> goes back to we first met in church. Yeah. And then I remember uh, Keith Guerra was telling me about a Riverside Hawks tryout in Harlem. I walk in the gym and I see Donovan. And it, it's so weird because we both went to the same church. Didn't know we played basketball, like either of us played basketball, walk into the gym see him, and then we've always just kept a good relationship. First rookie since Steph Curry with back-to-back 25-point -back games for the Warriors. Future's bright for Eric Pascal. Appreciate the time, my man. I appreciate you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.